becoming absolutely psychotic in the pursuit of bigger, juicier freaking pipe da days. A sunburn on the underbelly of my arm here. I kind of was like laying like this. <laughs> absolutely cooked, or my pale Canadian skin was not primed for 30 minutes of sunshine. <laughs> You get all blood in your muscles and your brain's not working anymore. Five minutes, and then I go and do my curls, and then I rest another five minutes, and I come back. So the triceps are gonna get uh, 10 minutes rest total. If you're not growing, which I haven't really been the past month, couple months maybe, um, uh, particularly in the arms, I think I've seen some growth in my back and chest a little bit, but the tries and buys are pretty stuck-ish. I mean, maybe they've grown like a tiny little bit, right? But um, if that's the case, I think you have to do something different, right? It's been an extended period of time if you've been doing the same routine for a month, two months, you know, and you're just kind of plateaued, you're stuck, your weight's the same, your measurements are the same, you look the same, then you gotta do something different. You have nothing to lose, right, by changing it up. So that's what I'm trying to do. And I think it's really common for all of us to fall on plateaus you see some progress from something, and you're like, oh, this is working, then you stick with it, probably for longer than you should, because your body adapts, and you slide into another plateau, and you're in that plateau for probably too long before you realize, oh, fuck, I'm not getting anywhere, if you realize it all. Some people just stay stuck forever. Don't do that. Shifted into six to the speed trap. Police let me fly, cause they come up both the yards. And pretend they ain't seen that. Buck 50, give a test, you figure way to the hills. When you sit in place and you hit the brakes, I'll never fuck my life as a brakes. They think they think they work for a minute. I'll just give it time. Just a flag wave and then you're drifting through the fit. Pretty good set, 120 pounds on the bar for nine, 10? Failed on 10? Whew, that's what we're looking for. So another five minutes rest, and we'll go back to the other one. Um, I'm definitely kind of getting into the territory where sometimes I feel like I don't know what else to do to try and grow more. Um, things are getting pretty extreme. And over many years and years, I've experimented with so much shit and I've kind of X'd off like a number of strategies um, that just haven't worked. You know, for example, I've been doing this kind of long rest, heavy weight, um, explosive tempo, just trying to push more and more weight paired with the, the drop set finisher at the end. And alternative could be maybe I could just do more volume, lower the rest times down. Um, you get more of a pump that way. But I've done those workouts over many years and they just consistently didn't really lead to much growth. Maybe if I revisit them, it'd be different. I don't know. Um, that's just an example where that's something I've experimented with where I just like over enough time and playing around with enough variables and paying attention to how my body is responding, I just found those uh, shorter rest time, higher volume, pump it up, get a lot of blood in the muscle workouts were just not as effective. And I took volume to the extreme. I was doing these 100 set arm workouts, which is absurd, don't do that. 50, 50 sets per muscle, just super setting back and forth, boom, 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 boom. Um, so I went down that road already. I don't know how to make the sets more intense. I tried that with the, the single drop on each one of these working sets, that didn't really seem to be better. Pushing to failure, bringing the intensity music pre-workout, you know, I don't really know how to make the intensity more. Um, I guess I'm pretty low volume compared to what I've done in the past, so that's why I'm thinking maybe don't go crazy with the volume again, but let's add a few extra sets with a lighter weight, 
and like kind of a middle tempo because I go pretty fast and explosive with these. And then the drop set at the end is super, super slow. So maybe something in between that could be useful. I kind of did that last summer for a month or two and I didn't really find it to, I didn't notice it to be effective. So I cut it out and that's why I've just been doing these two things. But again, if you're not growing, you got nothing to lose by trying something different. There is a balance where maybe you just need to be patient and you are growing. But I think after like a couple months and I'm doing measurements and stuff and holy mama, they're looking big right now. But uh, uh, they're like a sliver over 18 inches and I hit 18 inches like months ago, six months ago or something. I think it's like in between 18 and 18 and a quarter. So maybe I've added a quarter inch in like six months, which is progress, but it's not much considering how like focused and dedicated and like ballistic I'm <coughs> going with my workouts and never missing sessions. <laughs> into it, which I really want to do, right? I want to push into it, lock myself into position. The seat kind of pops up some, right? It goes like, Meh. and it freaks me out. Because I've had a few, a couple of years ago, I had this one bench that blew out on me and I went flying backwards, so. Down to the 95, so we're dropping 15 pounds ish, and slow the tempo down, a little bit more control, a little bit more range of motion. Trying to get a better stretch, trying to get a fuller extension. When you're going ballistic with a heavy ass weight in the 8 to 12 rep range, and you're trying to use some burst, it's inevitable the form deteriorates a little bit. But I think it's worth what you give up in your form to try to move heavier weight um, with a bit of explosive tempo for some of your sets. I think it's worth the trade off. But this, drop the weight down, different approach, slower tempo, fuller range of motion, really looking for that stretch at the bottom, getting a good full extension, controlling the weight, focus on my cues, scooping the elbows, keeping the shoulders drop down, the stretch back, feel it in my lats more, the delts a little, little pecs, um, 10 reps, I don't know, 95, three minute rest. We're gonna do a three minute round instead of like a five or six minute rest. So we'll cut that rest like in half pretty much. What the fuck am I saying? <laughs> Sometimes you get all blood in your muscles and your brain's not working anymore. <laughs> Me, I said I only partly, I only got my bed and my mom, I'm sorry. 50 dub, I even got a set it on me. Anyone ever knew I just did the party? And you know me, turn up old school into an old beat. With that 40 body, baby, know me. Imagine if I never met the broskies. I can't do this on my own.
Dutch, boy, you got a 12 car garage and you only got six cars. I ain't with the kick and how you kiss that. Your wife is saying I'm looking like. Oh. 